Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at the Orlando Informer here at Universal Studios. This is a separate ticket event that has unlimited food and priority access to all the rides at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. I am so excited to eat as much as I can and ride as much as I can. So, let's go do this. Unfortunately, today is a pretty bad day for weather. I'm joined up with some friends. Jackie, super enthused, fresh from England. Very, Very excited. <laughs> yeah? Fresh isn't what I would call it. But That's the way. Wet. And it's raining. Along with Jackie, Promise is here. I'm going to be Nate's umbrella holder tonight. Yes, like, like Bonds you guys, and Bentley. Yeah, you guys both got umbrellas, and I'm just braving the storm, and I'm already soaking wet. Like, I am, I'm, I'm destroyed. <laughs> They are much more, oh wow, this is going to work great. Yeah, you can this stand under work. our umbrella. For, for some umbrella, reason now, umbrella, all of my worries umbrella. have just been cleared up. <laughs> right now, the park is still open, and the meetup doesn't start until 8, and it goes until 12.30. So we have 8 to 12.30 to ride as many rides, and also eat as much food as we can. And I am talking about every single quick service location is going to have just free food. You can just walk up and be like, I'll take one of those, please. And then if you want seconds, you can just be like, may I have another? Immediately. We're dancing. Dancing already. <laughs> but before that, because technically the free food doesn't start until 8 o'clock, they have pre-bite stations where we can actually get something to eat as we're going around the park and enjoying. And this is going to be the first one that we come across, the bonus bite zone. And we can get into one of these to actually get something to eat real quick. And I think we're going to go backstage into a sound stage. That's going to be fancy. Another cool thing to point out is that if you do come to the Orlando Informer Meetup, even though it doesn't officially start till 8, you can get into the parks at 3 o'clock. So you can get here, you can play around with regular guests, and then once that time comes, all the regular guests leave and you have the whole place to yourself. I'm going to head into our first bite zone here. It's looking pretty fancy already. I like the, the lights. Umbrellas down. Who's laughing now, huh? Oh, I could just walk right in. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to carry on. Except for I'm gonna be. <gasps> Look at that! It's such a cool little raptor. It's like a dance party. Wow, it is so amazing in here. YMCA. It's fun to sing at the YMCA. Look at this. <laughs> We've got DJs, and it's kind of like a big, gigantic buffet line. <laughs> Promise and Jackie grabbed some pizza to start off the night. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I've, already, I've already finished my pizza. Oh, this is like the first thing. Now that we had our pizza, one of the stands is an actual bar. It looks like it's a full menu too. They've got beer and they got soda, craft beer, mixed drinks, all the works. So I'm excited. <laughs> they have drinks, like I said, and they have one that is the Ocean Attack, and that's the Orlando Informer, like their famous drink that they have here. Very clever. Gummy shark. Gummy shark. Do -do 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 -do. Gummy shark. I love it. That is amazing. I didn't even know it. <laughs> Now for an official cheers, cheers. Bud Light, cheers. White Claws, and Orange Blossom Thank Filters. Thank you. Cheers. The American way. <laughs> Where are you from? Here we go. This is us trying to dance in front of the camera. One of the biggest things I want to do is try to show you guys how much fun the Orlando Informer is. Especially if it's raining out, this indoor location where you can get snacks and drinks and listen to music. This is a great addition. Oh, that was timed perfectly. <laughs> I was great. Now we're heading back out into the world. In the big blue world. Now I think we're going to head into our first free official meal. Everything before this has been the bonus bites, but now we're actually getting to the good stuff. And we're going to go right into the Monsters Cafe. This is my favorite. I love it in here and they're going to have some amazing items. Before we get to some food, we're going to grab a drink. And it's cool because they have the Coca-Cola Freestyles just open for everybody. 
you can just grab a cup but be careful because they are guarded by the creature and uh, just grab a drink <laughs> coke excellent but just to hang out in here is cool enough. I love it in here. And right now, it's not open for regular park hours. I think it's only open on the weekends. But I love the theming. Here's a look at the menu. We've got rotisserie chicken, invisible man brisket sandwich, the mummy, a slow cooked jackfruit, roasted cauliflower and broccoli, French fang fries, and crypt cookies. Oh boy. And you can customize your order, so I'm gonna get the brisket sandwich, but I don't want the pickles and the coleslaw on it. And you can just tell them and they'll make it the way you want it. I actually got a little bit of everything. Look at this, this is the Crypt Cookies. It's like a s'more cookie, roasted chicken, french fries, and then a brisket sandwich. And look, we're just walking away. All you do is go up and say, this is what I want. You go eat it, and then if you want more, go get more. Anything that I do get tonight though, I'm gonna make it a mission that I actually eat it. I'm not about wasting food, but everybody has their limits. So I'm gonna do my best. I am gonna try to eat as much as I can so I can show you how amazing this is. But at the same time, I'll know when to quit. So this is the first official meal. It is eight o'clock. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, just about four and a half hours of continuous eating now. <laughs> It's gonna be great. The first thing I'm gonna go with though is this brisket sandwich. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, we're going all in right here. Gonna just fold this over and. All right, that is so delicious. And I'm very hesitant to say that might be my favorite thing, but it's the night is just beginning. We have a lot of food. It's like, you know, it's the first thing. So now I'm gonna hop to my chicken. The chicken is pretty delicious. Overall, I really do like this. I always like just coming in here because it's the Monsters Cafe. I would totally get some more of the French fang fries because I like crinkle cut fries, but we have to pace ourselves because we're going to a really cool spot, or should I say a very ghoul spot. Well, no, because this is the ghoul spot. <laughs> this is the ghoul We spot. are in a ghoul spot. This spot is super ghoul. <laughs> but I do have to try the crypt, crypto cookie. Hmm. Now we need to move along though. Look at this, the sun is going down. It's not raining anymore. It's not raining anymore. Woo! Now I think we're gonna head on over to Finnegan's, get ourselves another drink, and also some of the food they have in there is amazing. And then we're gonna ride a ride. <laughs> and you can tell already, it is completely empty here. This is awesome. It's like we have the park to ourselves. The Mummy has a five minute walk online. So honestly, it's great. Also an added benefit of coming for the Orlando Informer is you can ride rides that you normally could not ride, including the Pterodon Flyers over at Islands Adventure, which I have a fancy little ticket right here to ride. I never get to ride this because you have to have a child. So we're gonna be able to ride it tonight. Drinks for us. Look at this. We're going into Finnegan's. There's no line, there's no nothing, and the bar stools are back. They're back. <laughs> Finnegan's had my favorite dessert of the whole entire Orlando Informer last time. So I'm betting they have the same one again today. It's the bread pudding, and it is to die for. Are you taking a picture? Oh, well, yeah, just getting. Ooh. Are you going to have some? Yes, here it is the bread pudding with whiskey sauce. Oh boy. That's the way. Look at it, I like how you poured it on so fancy. Well, you're taking a video. I have to. Ooh. So delicious. It is though. <laughs> Thank you. But right across the room, not only do they have the bread pudding, but they have beef pasties and wings. Bread pudding over there, wingy over here. <laughs> nope. None of that. Take a add and some wings. Look at those. So now officially, this is our stop number two. We've got three buffalo chicken rings, two pasties, and a little bread pudding. The bread pudding. <laughs> <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and in good tradition, 
dessert first. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Much too good. Much too good for children. Oh, the whiskey glaze. I can smell it already. <laughs> bread pudding is just so good but now I gotta eat these wingies and these pasties I've already eaten one wing I love it the sauce can be a little bit spicy I do have to say but I'm excited to dive into these oh I think I'm gonna have a good high expectation here this is when I got I'm starting to feel a little bit full here but these wings were good I know I can pack in a lot more and plus <laughs> We have some more friends joined up with us. Mid Buffalo Wing Bite, Micah. <laughs> Is that my new nickname? Mid Buffalo Wing Bite, Micah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to start your new nickname. Buffalo Micah. <laughs> 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 Finnegan's is so good. I gotta stop though. Like the, the bad thing is is when you find something you want to eat You want to keep eating it. You know what I mean? Like so they give you three chicken wings But like those wings are good. I want to eat more of the wings But it's all about like pacing yourself because this is like an eating event Like you come here to have unlimited food and butter beer and to ride rides and we're gonna ride some rides later But the biggest thing is the food and since we were right here at Finnegan's, I think we'll stop into Louis Restaurante and get ourselves something to eat just because we're in the area. But I want to point out that beautiful Orlando Informer sign. Some of the restaurants have their full menu available. Some of them is just little offerings. Oh, hi, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it all depends on what you want to get. I mean, I definitely going to get some pizza from Louis, but they also have the garlic knots, I think. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Louis Restaurante Pizza. I'm not even sure if I ever gave this a good score. Look at that. It's got a good undercarriage, a nice bowl. I don't know. We'll see. One bite. Everyone knows the rules. It's good theme park pizza. I give it a 4-7. Uh, 4-7 four, seven. Four, I feel like is a good score for theme park pizza. Dancing. Now I think we're gonna move along and head over to Islands of Adventure and during the Orlando Informer They actually have a walkway that you can get back and forth pretty easily and we're gonna utilize it On our way over though if you see a stand you can just say hey Can I have a churro please and you can just grab a churro as a little road snack? That's amazing, isn't it? Thank you <laughs> Don't mind if I do <laughs> This is actually a very delicious churro. It's fresh, it's not like kind of old, because sometimes I feel like when you get churros from those outside stands, outside stands, I think that they're a little bit like not fresh, but this is pretty good. I am excited to go to Diagon Alley to get some ice cream later. That's the real dessert. But here is the walkway. This is, allows us to actually just go back and forth from Universal side to Islands of Adventure side and it's just so fun and very convenient. The reason we're hopping over to Islands of Adventure is because we have our virtual pass for the Pterodon Flyers, and that is at 9 to 9.30, and I'm excited to ride it, like I said, but as I'm walking over, I'm having a hard time with my glasses because they keep on fogging up, and it, it's hard for me to see without them, but like I took them off just so that they're not so foggy. You know what I mean? I don't know, how do I look without glasses though? Should I get contacts? Another thing I want to point out, there are a couple of meetups that are coming soon, November 19th to the 20th, December 3rd and 4th, but sadly December 10th and 11th is sold out. So I will put a link in the description if you guys are interested in booking one of these events so you can actually check it out. Buttons, buttons, buttons. It stopped when I came in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But now we are here at Camp Jurassic to ride the Pterodotto Flyers. Like I said, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Can't do this during the regular park hours. Unless you have a small child to accompany you. Unfortunately, I do not. So, this is the only time I can ride it. Here it is. I am so excited. <laughs> oh boy, this is such a fun ride. I don't think I can film on the ride itself but it is so cool. 
here is a look at what the Terranano flyers looked like. Oh, look at it, it's flying in. I am so excited for this. <laughs> so I can't record on this ride, but I'm gonna try to show you it as it goes about, because it is so fun. There it goes. This is me. <laughs> off though hats off oh boy that was such an amazing ride oh my lord <laughs> there goes promise oh that was so much fun i loved it here comes jackie <laughs> there she is <laughs> Here comes Promise. Woo! I wonder if she was as scared of that last turn as I was. She was calmer. Don't we all just look so funny sitting in it? Like yeah. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys the Pterodonto Flyers, but it was so amazing and I'm not even supposed to be able to ride them, so I'm just so privileged that I was able to do it tonight. That it was just, it was so worth it. Honestly, I think it's worth the ticket on its own. And since we just got off a Jurassic Park ride, we might as well get ourselves some Jurassic snacks. The Burger Digs got a bacon cheeseburger platter, and I don't think I've ever eaten here before, so if it's free, it's for me. Along with the burgers, they have the Island Refresher drink here. I've never had this before, but it looks delicious, so might as well get it if it's free. We're gonna go outside and take a look on the inside. Oh, yes. Look at Velocicoaster right here. It's not open yet, but I didn't even know they had flames out there. That is really, really awesome. I feel like the burger is just a generic burger, but like I said, I needed to try it. I need to know. I like the bun though. Like I said, it's just like a regular burger. But like I said, if it's free, I wanted to try it. Now I know. I probably wouldn't come here and eat burger digs. So this is what you can do is you can come to Orlando Farmer, try all the food, and then that way when you come back, you know where you're not gonna waste your money. Even though the burger isn't that great, it is, I think, number five on our stop here. So five different places, five quick service restaurants, and I'm not feeling it yet. I'm gonna get myself a butter beer. Oh yeah, our first butter beer of the night. They have regular and frozen here. I think I'm gonna do one and one. Might as well live a little dangerous, you know? And also, you can just grab gilly water. How cool is that? They just have gilly water available just to walk up and just take one. Isn't that so awesome? Unlimited butter beer. I had to get both just to give them a go. Oh, that is good. So refreshing. <laughs> And now for the frozen butter beer. Let me know in the comments though, what one do you prefer? Now they didn't have the hot one here, but they do have hot one in Diagon Alley and in Hogshead. So maybe we'll try to get one. But I think I would prefer just a regular butter beer. The frozen one though, it's okay. It's okay. But the regular, the original butter beer, that's the way to go. Look at how empty Hogsmeade is right now. This is amazing. This is what you pay for though. Like honestly, you never see it like this. There's never this much open space. But since we're right here in Hogsmeade, we might as well head into Hogshead and get ourselves a hot butter beer because that's what I'm looking for. I think they have it here. If not, then we're gonna get ourselves some Hogsmeade. It looks like the hot butter beer is down at the moment. So we're gonna get just That's regular drinks. Yeah, it's regular gonna, drinks. <laughs> regular beer. <laughs> I also totally forgot you can get pumpkin juice here. Pumpkin juice. So now we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have some hogs meat. By the way, cheers. Cheers. And then we're gonna have some pumpkin juice right afterwards. Pumpkin fizz, pumpkin juice. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this. Yeah. I'll make it work. I can. I believe in myself. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. It's really good. I don't know which one I like better. I mean, they're good, right? Yeah, I like fizzy better. Fizzy, pu fizzy so pumpkin good. juice better. Yeah. Oh. 
You can also get food inside here, and they have ribs and chicken and cobblers. There's a long line though. I feel like this is probably one of the most popular free spots to get food during the Orlando Informer. So if you plan on coming here, come here first, because I'll show you the line when we leave. This is what I was talking about as a line to get in to three broomsticks here. It's free, so everybody's trying to get in here. I don't blame them either. And like I said, I would totally wait because it is good food. It's ribs and chicken, but there's a lot of other amazing places we want to get to. And time is a ticking. Time is a ticking. I, <laughs> I meant to go grab my watch, but it's just my wristband. As we make our way to our next stop, like I said, you got to pay attention to the little stands here so you can just swing in and you can be like, hey friends, can I get a popcorn? Awesome. Oh, and a pretzel? Can I do them both? All right. A Powerade, a popcorn, and then a pretzel. Holy moly. So how much do you guys think you sold today? $1,954 worth of goods? Just about, not even, it was a reset? <laughs> Holy moly, look at this. Popcorn, pretzel, Powerade. They all peas. <laughs> Thank you. So much food, not enough hands, so I'm gonna try to eat the pretzel nubs, but hold the popcorn with the pretzel. The pretzel was good but the popcorn, that's where it's at. So yeah, you, <laughs> Jackie got the popcorn so too. So good. <laughs> the Seuss trolley train only has a five minute wait. There it goes. Speaking of the Seuss trolley train, as we were walking by, Promise said, I never did this ride. And I said, well, you just stop right there. We're gonna ride this ride. <laughs> there it is. The Seuss trolley train. Nobody's waiting to actually ride. So we're just gonna wait for the next one so we can have front row. Like there's nobody. No. They're gonna load empty we're cars. The only ones. And it's your first time, you deserve the front. We gotta wait for it. <laughs> time to board. keep careful track. The next thing I spy is the Hop on Pop shop. Tots hopping on ice cream with cherries on top. As you can see here in the heart of Seuss Landing is a carousel that's truly outstanding. And I see the trees, the Trumpula trees. Miles Jackie, do you want to ride one fish, two fish? Red fish, blue fish? <laughs> and look out below! It's that new Magoo Zoo. Oh, what this zoo must be worth! It's the most wonderful zoo on the face of the earth. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam. I am. Tell you that Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she named them all Dave? Well, she did, and that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wanted one and calls out, Yo, come into the house, Dave! She doesn't get one. All 23 Dave's of hers come on the run. What did you think of your first ride? on the Seuss trolley train. Oh, I just think that for any who, who couldn't love it? Any who's? I loved it. <laughs> I really loved it. And I want to come back and do the other. You thing. gotta do it, yes. It's like two rides in one. <laughs> I really want to go on it. Since we are here in Seuss Landing, I think we're gonna need to get something to eat from here. I feel like we kind of gotten something from every single place we've been, except for here. Might as well get some Dr. Seuss ice cream. Maybe a sundae on a stick. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Or a brownie sundae. I went with a strawberry vanilla ice cream cone and take a look at the sales for today. $882, you're doing great. <laughs> I don't know if this is in focus because I keep taking my glasses off because it keeps fogging up so bad. Whenever it rains here in Florida, the humidity levels just rise like crazy. But here's my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream is great, but we're taking this bad boy back to Universal Studios. 
Now we're back in Universal Studios, and just to give you a look at what the wait times could be here, I feel like Despicable Me is always a long wait. It is 100% a walk-on right now. Not a single person in line. Look at that. Oh, there you go. There's one person, but they're just walking right in. Shea Alcatraz has the Orlando Informer signature drink here. So I didn't want to get it at any of the other stands. I wanted to get it here because this is where the original Ocean Attack is at. Here's the Ocean Attack. The Ocean yeah. Attack, so this yeah. this is a special one for Orlando Informer. Exactly. Is it just the name that's different or is any of the ingredients it's different? It's a completely different cocktail. Oh, yeah. fancy. I would consider this to be more like a... Um, my, a nice sweet Myers Mule Ooh. is how I would describe this one. So Myers rum, some cherry brandy. Cherry brandy. Yeah, a little, little lime, a little agave. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells really good. Right Myers is amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here it is, the Ocean Attack. You gotta say it kind of like you have an accent, Danny Ocean. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I think it's better to get it here because at the other stands it's pre-made. They make this right here for you. Yep. Not too shabby. Yes. Cheers. Totally forgot. Cheers. Cheers, Ocean. <laughs> it really is a good drink. Definitely has a little bit of a bite to it though, I have to say. Of course, a night isn't complete without coming on over to Dagen Alley had to come in and say hello even though the park is closing i was hoping that maybe on an off chance we can get ice cream or a hot butter beer fingers crossed maybe but look at this yeah there's nobody in here i think the ice cream stand is open i see people eating ice cream In fact, I've never gotten the ice cream from here. I'm sure it's gonna be better than the Dr. Seuss ice cream. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be better. So I'm excited. Here is a couple suggestions of the ice cream flavors. Sticky toffee pudding, Earl Grey and lavender, strawberry and peanut butter, and chocolate chili. This is really cool in here. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I love it so much. They do have butterbeer ice cream, soft serve ice cream, pistachio vanilla, oh my lord, so many offerings. So here it is, we got pistachio vanilla and I had to try the butterbeer ice cream. So we got both of them. Pistachio and vanilla first. That is amazing, oh my lord. Oh, oh, I got a muff mustache. But it looks like that is all, kids. We're closing down Universal. They're about to do their final sweep and we're gonna have to go. I still got my butterbeer ice cream though. I think the butterbeer one is my favorite. And with that, I think we are done here. I am soaking wet like a street rat. It was pouring basically the whole entire night. I had so much fun though. So even if you think like it would be dampered, I mean, obviously it would be so much more fun if it wasn't raining, but I still had an amazing time and I think you will too. If you guys want to book a Orlando Informer meetup, I will put a link in the description with all of the like ordering details and man, it was so amazing. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Be prepared at the end of the night. You're going to be looking at extremely long lines. It goes all the way underneath. Wow. Totally worth it though. What an amazing Orlando Informer meetup.